Hi, I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for shrimp scampi with zucchini noodles, also known as zoodles. I really like shrimp scampi, but I do try to limit my pasta intake. There's lots of carbs here. This is a really, really healthy alternative. It's just as delicious, super simple to throw together. So stick around and I'll show you how to put this dish together. So this is a dish that comes together very quickly and it's important to prep all your ingredients. I'm going to start with the zucchini. Now I'm going to be using my spiralizer, which I received as a gift several months ago and I really like using. But if you don't have one of these, that's okay. Most decent grocery stores do sell zucchini noodles. So it's really easy uh, to use this if you use a spiralizer. All you have to do is twist this right through like so. And here's what we're left with after spiralizing three medium-sized zucchinis. I know it looks like a lot. This is really going to cook down though uh, once it goes into the pan. But what you want to do next is you want to cut these. Uh, if there's any super long pieces, you just want to kind of trim them up a little bit. You don't have to be too exact, but I like to use kitchen shears for this piece. And next I have one pound of wild shrimp that I've peeled and deveined and uh, blotted dry with paper towels. Just want to season these on both sides with some salt and pepper. So I'll flip those and hit the other side as well. And I also have three cloves of garlic that I've crushed in a garlic press, one large shallot that I've minced, and a large handful of fresh Italian parsley also minced. Again, very important to prep everything before you begin the cooking. So what you want to do next is to get a large pan and preheat it over medium high heat. You want to make sure the pan gets really, really hot before you add the oil. So I'm going to go in with some extra virgin olive oil. You don't need a whole lot. You just want to get a little bit in there, swirl it around, and then we can add the shrimp. And it's very important not to overcook the shrimp. You only want to sear these for about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. Okay, and there wasn't quite room, so I have a few more to do in a second batch. Um, <clears throat> but this is what you want them to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in that same corner, working outward and flipping these. You just want to give them a nice sear. Um, if you overcook the shrimp, they'll turn rubbery. So you just want to be very careful not to do that. Okay, and a minute later, these look ready. So I'm going to start removing them from the pan from that same corner. This just guarantees even cooking. And we just have a few shrimp left that didn't fit in. I'm going to throw these in next. A minute later, we'll give them a flip. Okay, now the shrimp are cooked on the other side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the burner all the way down to uh, medium low. And I'm going to remove the rest of the shrimp. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add some cold oil to that pan. What that's going to do, it's going to immediately bring the temperature down, prevent us from scorching. And I'm going to add in that shallot as well as the garlic. And then you want to just move this around constantly uh, to prevent from burning. You want to be sure not to overcook it. And about a minute into the process, you can add the next ingredient, which is a large pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. So just get that in there and move everything around just to incorporate some of that heat into the oil. And it doesn't take long. You want to be sure not to burn the garlic. So at this point, we're going to deglaze with some Italian white wine. And I'm going to turn the heat back up to medium high. And we're going to allow this to come up to a boil. And like always, you just want to keep stirring everything constantly as it goes. And all you're looking for is that uh, is for that to thicken up a little bit. That's how it should look. We've cooked off the alcohol. At this point, we can add in the next ingredient. I'm going to juice half of a lemon. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit uh, to about medium. And at this point, I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of butter. And we just want to let this cook down until the butter is melted. Okay, and that doesn't take long. Once that butter is almost gone, we can add in our zucchini noodles, our zoodles. 
And these do not take long at all to cook. They only take about uh, maybe two or three minutes. We really just want to heat them through a little bit and mix them around. So you want to get them in that oil and butter sauce, the scampi sauce, and just kind of move them around like so until they've cooked down. And you just want to be sure to season as you go. So after you add the zucchini, you want to add a little bit more salt and pepper just to taste. Okay, and after a couple minutes, uh, the noodles are just about ready. So I've added the shrimp back in and we're just going to stir this around a bit uh, to make sure everything is hot and well incorporated. And we are just about ready to serve this up. Turn off the heat. And just the very last ingredient to add is that parsley. Just going to add that in off the heat and continue stirring to incorporate our shrimp scampi with zucchini noodles is just about ready. Okay, so here is the dish, shrimp scampi with zucchini noodles. Let's dig in and give this a try. Mm. So that has a delicious shrimp scampi flavor, that oil and butter sauce, really, really good. Little bit of heat uh, from the red pepper flakes and that fresh parsley just really brings it together nicely. I really hope you enjoyed this dish. This is a really easy meal to throw together. You can do this on a, you know, on a weekday night in under 30 minutes. Super simple, uses uh, fresh ingredients. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.